Hey guys, it's Maggie and I'm back today and today I am very excited for this video because on my channel, I really like sharing products that I think other ostomy patients would find useful, and I also like sharing the ones that I personally use and love. So today I'm gonna be sharing the Stoma Cloak, and it's a disposable ostomy cover that has been able to combat some new issues that have arisen with my ostomy that, um, honestly, a year ago, never would've pictured myself having. So let me tell you about it. If you followed me for a little bit, you may know that I had some pretty severe skin issues around my stoma, and it made it very difficult for my ostomy bags to stick to me for any amount of time. I mean, I was changing them like twice a day. Eventually, I saw a wound ostomy incontinence nurse, and we were able to resolve those issues, but now some new problems have come about because I'm getting three, four, five days out of my ostomy appliance. A year ago, I never would have pictured myself having these issues and I'm very grateful to have them. It's really knocked my confidence with these new issues that I just didn't expect to have. So when I was changing my ostomy every day, sometimes more often than that, I had a fresh new appliance on and even though I had trouble with it sticking, looked fresh, it looked clean, and I had at least some confidence in the way my actual ostomy pouch looked. Now that I get more wear time out of it and my skin is healthy and it looks great, well, unfortunately, I learned that ostomy bags are not invincible and as you wear them longer, they tend to deteriorate a little bit, which is par for the course. This, this is going to happen with any ostomy bag, but some of the things that started to happen were I noticed odor around the third or fourth day that even using deodorizer I couldn't really get rid of. I also noticed that where the actual bag attaches to the ring on the flange, it sort of loosened over time and even when I replaced the bag with a new one um, wearing the same flange, there wasn't a tight fit there. So I would have leaking around the edges of my flange and that I'm sure added to the odor at least a little bit. The fabric around the flange as well as on the pouch itself got kind of pilled. It looked sort of just old. And just all of those, all of those elements just made me feel, I don't know, just not confident with myself. My usual confidence of me flaunting my ostomy online. You know what I mean? I do tend to talk about my ostomy a lot to friends. It's just... This is who I am. So all of these things, while it was great that my skin was doing better and I was able to get more wear time out of my ostomy and, you know, save money on ostomy supplies. I don't have to order as often. I still wanted to feel good with my ostomy. That is where the stoma cloak comes in. So the number one problem that I was having was the odor. I did not enjoy that at all. It made me very self-conscious. I felt like everyone around me knew that I had an ostomy because of it. That's the amazing thing about the Stoma Cloak and the type of fabric that they use. That fabric is able to grab onto those odor molecules so that way they're not floating about you making you feel just a little bit gross. So that was the number one thing. The first time that I used it, I immediately recognized that the odor was gone. And I specifically waited to try the Stoma Cloak when I was like on day five of a bag. I kept this thing on for a while because I really wanted to test it and I was shocked. The next morning I woke up, took it off, and I was like, holy cow, this, this has the odor of a first day bag, not a fifth day bag. So the other issue that I noticed, like I said before, with an older ostomy pouch and the bag adhering to the ring is that it just seems like the plastic kind of loosens up a bit and that click it's not as clicky. It doesn't, the bag doesn't feel like it's sticking to the flange as well. So I do get some leaking around that ring. It's nothing major, but it's enough to also add on to that odor issue. And also I have gotten it on my clothes before and I'm like, come on. And usually what I do is I just say, you know what, even though this flange is sticking well to me, we're going to start over. We're going to peel it off and start new. Sometimes the problem with that though is when you change your flange too often, you could be peeling off healthy skin cells, especially if you've got some damaged skin. So that's why I don't like to change my bag more often than I need to. So I was really looking for something to 
maybe contain that a little bit and the stoma cloak does that as well it's able to fend off any of those leaks from getting on clothing buys me a bit more time with that particular flange so that way even in situations where i'm out and about and maybe don't have the ability to change my ostomy or it's just not convenient Stoma Cloak will defend that. So another issue that I'm I'm just a little bit worried about going into those warmer months is having sweaty skin, especially underneath of my ostomy bag, and having fungal infections start up. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to avoid them at all costs. So like I said, I've already been out in the garden. It's already been warm outside. We had one day where it was 75 degrees. I wore this baby and it kept my skin nice and dry, wicked away that moisture so that way it was nice and comfortable, and I had no issues. Whereas last year, there were some really hot days, and while there is some fabric on ostomy bags, you probably are familiar if you have one, it's pretty thin. It's pretty thin, and it doesn't do a whole lot of absorbing. <laughs> That's why I found this to be so much more comfortable to wear on those hot days, so I don't really have to worry about it, and I can just spend, you know, seven hours out in the garden and not see Zach for the whole day and be fine. Now, I'm no stranger to ostomy covers. I've used different ones in the past, but the Stoma Cloak has been my favorite by far, and one of the reasons is how comfortable it is. I was very impressed with not only all the features that the fabric can do, but also how soft it is, how comfortable, it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your ostomy pouch, but it also has structure to it. I have had issues in the past where either the fabric was too thick and too almost starchy, not starchy, but just very constructed. So it wound up showing through my clothes a lot easier. You know, it looked bumpy underneath my pants or my shirt, and I could also feel that I was wearing it. On the flip side of that, if you've got an ostomy cover that is too soft and too thin, they tend to flop over and so does your ostomy bag and then that becomes noticeable. So you gotta find the sweet spot right in the middle and Stoma Cloak has found that it's nice and soft, nice and comfortable, but it's still structured enough where it holds its shape and remains flat. The other thing that I love about the Snoma Cloak, and this is, this is for Maggie at peak laziness. You can throw it right into the wash and right into the dryer, no problem, there's no hand washing involved. In fact, that is how they recommend you to wash it to activate its abilities again. And if you get three of them, it'll last you a year, it'll maintain its ability to do all the things that I talked about for a year, so you can kind of switch them out throughout the week. They are also available in different lengths as well as different ring sizes, so that way, depending on your size of ostomy flange and ostomy pouch, you can correlate your Soma Cloak to that size. Another benefit is the ease of putting it on and removing it. All you have to do is place the end of your ostomy bag in the top of it and then pull it through the bottom. There's an opening at the bottom, which is also extremely useful if you use a drainable pouch. You can empty right out of there and you don't have to remove the whole thing, which is just perfect. But in my case, you may know that I am strange and I have an ileostomy, but I use non-drainable bags. Because it's so easy to put it on and take it off, it does not deter me one bit from wearing it. I'm very thankful for Stoma Cloak for part partnering with me and sharing a coupon code for you. So if you would like 10% off your purchase, if you're interested, you can use the code Let's Talk IBD 10 or click the link in the description below. Both will work for you. You know, it's great that I was able to get more wear time out of my ostomy bags, but then on the flip side, some of the other issues that I had as my ostomy bags got older, like I'm thankful for the Stoma Cloak because it was getting to a point where I noticed the issue so much. I noticed the little bit of leaking. I noticed the odor that I was embarrassed to be around my own husband. I was like, no, no, like I need to go. I gotta go change my bag again. And he's like, really? I thought your skin was better. Like, no, it is. We're, we're good there, but I just, like, I don't feel confident. That is why I love the Stoma Cloak. It's given me that back. It's given me the confidence back. It's nice because I've got a sleek looking ostomy pouch again, and it's taken away some of those issues that I talked about, giving me back my comfort and confidence. Thank you again to Stoma Cloak for sponsoring this video. And if you would like to try out Stoma Cloak, you can use Let's Talk IBD 10 at checkout. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next. Bye, guys.